what's up hello y'all welcome back to the complicated entertainment channel if you are new here welcome i'm so glad you're here um let's go ahead and get right into today's video first things first y'all it seems like ice spice and doja cat have a new song coming out okay now as you all may or may not know um ice spice has been teasing a date all right and it's october 13th okay and she's been posting this little number around social media every time she gets okay and rumor has it that she's going to be on the agora hills remix by ice by doja cat okay that is you know a new song off doja cat's new album it's one of her you know latest singles that she dropped um it's a pretty good song pretty good song but i'm not streaming that shit you <laughs> <laughs> you shouldn't me i'm not streaming that okay but um yes in my opinion how do i feel about ice spice hopping on a song i'm not surprised and the reason why i'm not surprised is because they're literally going on tour together so maybe you know she might bring out ice spice for the agora hill song you know we're gonna see we're gonna see but this would definitely be a cute little vibe for ice spice you know i can definitely see her on it um you know doing her thing on that but i don't really want honestly ice spice's brand to be associated with doja cat anymore okay i mean it's sad that you know she's going on tour with her now so she has no other choice but to subscribe to what she's doing but i just don't think it's a good combination to have ice spice's you know reputation associated with that demon it's just not cute it's just not because you know ice spice is unproblematic okay and once you start collaborating with people who are problematic that shit kind of rubs off on you i don't care what you say it rubs off on you but yes y'all let me know your opinion down below in the comment section will you be here for this remix um yes let's move on to this next topic okay moving on to the demon herself doja cat all right it seems like she has surpassed miss lauren hill oh oh doja cat surpassing lauren hill mm. now in billboard history okay lauren hill she was one of the female rappers okay to have the longest running number one okay and doja cat passed that with her new paint the red town what the fuck is it? paint the town red song and it's at three weeks okay um and now she's second place all right and cardi b's number one for bodak yellow in my opinion y'all the song is definitely not touching lauren hill status okay i don't care what anybody gotta say um I'm, i know that we're not comparing the song to lauren hill we're comparing the record but when it comes to the actual songs that have been in the history of the record for having number one doja cat song don't compare to none of them okay this song was definitely a cash grab and the label needed a song quick to give her a hit to make up for the fact that she's flopping all right so they had to do pale on her ass the song only sold six thousand pure sales and it has over 20 million 30 million radio audience yeah that's suspicious and you're now now we're hearing you're surpassing lauren hill get the f out of here with that okay i i call bs but i don't know maybe you all may think that doja cat's you know career is on lauren hill status and you know apparently now she's surpassing her her, her record so maybe she's surpassing lauren hill now that, i mean that is the new narrative that's going on on social media what is your opinion down below y'all let me know let me know i would love to talk about this Let's move on to this next topic, y'all. Moving on, child. It's, this is just a lot. Going. Okay, so look. As of recently, y'all, fans have noticed, you know, Lotto, she's been doing some weird things in terms of her Instagram story post, all right? Um, she, pos she posted a picture on her story, right? And, you know, on Instagram, you can add music to, you know, your story to whatever post you're doing. Um, so she added the song. And you won't, you won't believe who the artist is, who she, who she added okay yeah Nicki minaj oh i thought she's a super freaky grandma i thought her family is a bunch of this and that i thought that she does see all right you know what i'm talking about when i say see all those allegations y'all been saying but you gonna use her song on your story though i think lotto is trying to troll nikki or bait nikki or bait barbs into a beef again because i think lotto saw how her career and how all eyes were on her when she was beefing with nikki okay even if the attention is for the wrong reason she still needs the eyes on her because she knows that she don't have no real fans for real so you know when you don't have any attention and you don't get attention on the regular you're willing to do anything to get any type of attention good or bad okay you know she recently was just out here showing her panties you know and putting her panties on ebay 
So, you know, she's desperate for attention, okay? You know, she went out to her high school to donate $35,000 for attention. I'm not saying it was from the heart, but you can't tell me a piece of the whole photo shoot photo op wasn't for attention. Like, you know what you're doing. So, I think she's trying to just get attention and bait barbs into, you know, starting some beef with her and starting to stir up some mess. Um, but you got to pay a dust, all right? These people understand the power that Nikki has, and they know that any reaction from her is going to boost their career. Like I said, good press or bad press, it's still press. And who knows, maybe her team or management is saying, you know what, we got to recreate this beef moment, so go ahead and post Nicki Minaj's song in your story to start some drama. We don't know. You know, a lot of things going behind the scenes, you know? And I think that, you know, like I always say, Imagine what, you know, we see a lot of mess on a day-to-day -day basis, but imagine what goes on behind the scenes that we don't see. It's a lot of shit. Moving on, y'all, I want to go ahead again to this Miss Water Girl, aka Tyler, all right? Um, you know, this lady, she has a viral song on social media called Water, where she's twerking her ass to the left and to the right while pouring a water bottle on her ass. Um, pretty, pretty interesting challenge if you ask me. I mean, you know, <laughs> everybody's so creative. Now, in my opinion, I think that her song is beautiful. It's really a vibe. Her voice is beautiful. She's pretty. Um, and it's a, you know, I gotta give her her tens. Her body is tea. She get money. Um, you know, hey, she look good. Um, and this, um, water song, like I said, is going viral all over social media. And it's going so viral that people are saying that Tyla is the next Aaliyah. Um, what? No, I I'm sorry, y'all. Y'all see baggy jeans, all right, and you swear that the next B is a Aaliyah. No, Aaliyah cannot be replaced. Aaliyah is somebody who, I don't think we're ever gonna get another Aaliyah, we won't get another MJ, and another Beyonce. It's certain people you can't, re you can't replicate. Um, and yeah, social media, sometimes they can be very delusional. Yeah, very delusional. I'm not saying she's not talented. I'm not saying she's not pretty. I'm not saying her song is terrible, but I'm just saying she's not Aaliyah. Like, people can be people without you having to compare them to these iconic names, you know? But that's just my opinion on that. I'm not hating on her. I'm not hating on her. I'm not saying she's bad, untalented. I think she's really talented. I think she's beautiful and she has amazing voice. Um, and she's doing great for herself. Her song is on Billboard now, so that's really good. But this lady is not no fucking Aaliyah. Next. Moving on, y'all, moving on. As you all may or may not know, Beyonce and Taylor Swift has just finished up their tours. Um, and, you know, they both are deciding to go ahead and release some films that will be out in theaters. All right. Um, the Eras tour is Taylor Swift's tour and the Renaissance World tour is Beyonce's tour. But it seems like the industry is trying to sabotage them in terms of receiving awards for their films and theaters. They will not be not able to receive nominations for Oscars. Ooh, that's very interesting. And the reason being is because they are considered promotional or unfiltered performances. And they do not fall into the film category of documentaries you know it's a live concert show event so it's different you know it's different type of vibe now in my opinion get them ladies they fucking oscars why are y'all trying to sabotage them because it don't fall into a certain category i bet you nine times out of ten beyonce and taylor swift will be out selling some of these movies out here with big budget films let's be real here let's be real okay so i think you need to let them be nominated for an oscar and stop trying to cheat my girl beyonce out of her egot okay and if you don't know what egot is it's the emmy grammy oscars and tony it's an you know exclusive award that certain people have and they trying to cheat her out of getting one and that's just how i feel about that okay um what is your opinion down below in the comment section let me know let me know let me know and yes all that's all i have for you in today's video be sure to leave a like comment subscribe tap the bell and i will see you in the next one be safe